it will be underground and overground. But then, you know, it seems to me that you've, you've almost gone into hiding since Prime Mover was a hit anyway. I mean, it's been about six months. You've been stuck away doing the album. Yeah, they put me in a tomb and they wouldn't let me out. They just said, you know, make a record, you lazy. So and so. Yeah. <laughs> Cle cleanliness is our watchword. I was just wondering. <laughs> yeah, they bung me in the studio and says, you know, if you don't make a record, well, you know. Actually, what the, the truth of the matter is, I have press campaigns now. I just appear when there's a record out, you know. <laughs> I didn't used to know about these things before. Now, he, he's telling Fib now, because you just told me about two minutes ago, you've actually finished the album, haven't you? Yeah, yesterday. I actually did the last thing yesterday, and I have it here in my Let's pocket. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Did Show people what me? an album looks like when it's a day old. Yeah, that's what it looks like. That's a day old Zodiac Mind Warp album, then. You won't see that on any other television show in Europe, let me tell you. Right? There it is. Is it any a good? Years work. Is it any good though? No, it's crap. Oh, right. Well, yeah, <laughs> there you go. Let's see what Zodiac's talking about. Let's look at his last hit single. And this is Zodiac Mind Warp and Love Reaction and Prime Mover. Favourite videos of the year. I'm not just saying it because I've got Zodiac sitting next to me. I've been blathering on I'm about it for months. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, actually, speaking of that video, that caused a, an awful lot of controversy when it first came out, didn't it? Not as much as the latest one. Oh, really? <laughs> I've had them on right to reply and everything, yeah. It's really? Like, uh... what, do, what do they object to, do you think, so? Well, the fact that I'm sort of molesting a Chinese girl in the back of a car and... Uh... I don't know what they're objecting to, actually. I can't understand the fuss about it. It's weird, you know? Do you think? Do you think people go out of their way to look for controversial figures? They think, oh, well, Zodiac, he's he's weird. We'll just keep on and on and on and on at him, you know, like they do with people like Ozzy or whoever. You know. Yeah, I mean, it's nothing new, is it? I mean, it's like you know, there's always some old granny somewhere, you know, that's tuning into some pop show, you know, <laughs> God knows what she's doing, you know, watching whatever she's watching. And I don't know. I mean, I don't really. It doesn't bother me, you know. I mean, I never really expected to get as much airplay as I do anyway. You know, it's quite a surprise. But it is all happening now, isn't it? I mean, this has been quite a remarkable year for for you. You've come from scuzzbag rocker doing the clubs to you know being shown on videos around the world and touring and international scuzzbag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm no longer an indie scuzzbag, an international scuzzbag. Yeah. What, what do you think the the, the appeal? of Zodiac Mind Warp is to, to your, your more elementary hard rockers, your Maiden fans, your Sabbath fans, are all sort of hardline rockers. What do you think the thing they like about Zodiac is? Well, I think it's probably... Because I look a little bit like them, you know? I don't go around in spam and things, you know what I mean? It's like, your audience looks not a million miles from where I... I don't know why they like me. I think they just like me as an idiot, you know? <laughs> Everybody likes idiots. You know, it makes them feel more superior. He's quite right, you know. I mean, I'm sitting here feeling so more and more superior as the interview goes on. <laughs> I tell you, this is going to ruin everything now. Let's have a look at the brand new Zodiac Mind Warp single. This is called Backseat Education. Zodiac Mind Warp and Backseat Education. Of course, I've got with me the original convertible teacher here, right next to me. Um, Zodiac, I didn't think that was too controversial, did you? Well, it was incredibly mild, myself. Little kids everywhere grinning from ear to ear. Yeah, they like things, violence, sex, all that kind of stuff. Actually, did, looking at that video reminded me, of course, you're a huge kung fu film fan, aren't you? You love all those things. Yeah, well, I was, and I was a budding nunchaka person until I actually did the video, and I saw these guys, well, I didn't see them, you couldn't actually see how fast they moved, and I thought, you know, forget this, and uh, that ended my kung fu career, that video. <laughs> How much, I mean, obviously, your, your interest in, in, in comics and kung fu movies and tattoos and things like that is well known. Would you say that that gets reflected in your music and your videos or your lyrics? Yeah, it's all suitably tasteless. Isn't it? <laughs> well, actually, look, speaking of suitably tasteless, I want you to help me with our, with our competition winners because, as everybody out there knows, a few weeks ago we had a competition where you could win the carving guitar as played by Mama's Boys. Night Ranger, lots and lots of those good people. We asked you to send in some photographs of yourselves posing with the guitars. And well, yeah, and Cobalt's won it. And... <laughs> so, Zodiac reckons his old guitarist Cobalt has won it, but of course we're not having that. We picked, the, we picked, we picked, come over here, so I don't show you how it's We picked the best looking ones we could, we stuck them up here, and then while that video was going, me and Zodiac had a, a bit of a look, and we've come up with a winner and two runners up. The first, this dude, right? Yeah, this yep. is... Um... Move back a little bit, let's have a look at this. This is uh, Renny Virel, Virul, Renny Virel from Belgium. And here's Renny here. Typical metal fan, very intelligent, is, sensible. Is this what you look like before you go on stage, Adi? No, I look like that. <laughs> <laughs> you getting that? All right, that's our first runner-up. Our second runner-up... That's trash here. Another ex-member of Sony's band. 
This is actually Dave from London who came within a cat's whisker of winning due to his uh, inimitable style, wouldn't you yeah, say? Yeah, I think he'd make a good member of Mammoth, actually. <laughs> if you're listening, Dave, you've got a future. And our winner, our winner, we decided, right? The guy with the boot in his gob. The guy with the boot in his gob, as Zoli says. And this is Jesper Lober from Denmark. Jesper! And here we go, look. I'm going to pan along. You could, any man look at these trousers. Look at those trousers. Look at them strides. That will do cobalt pride there. And absolutely, look. Diving through the... Pete Townsend, <laughs> eat your art out. There you go. Anyway, his, his, by the way, that's his brother over there next to him. Klaus. Klaus, ben, here we go. Klaus and Jesper Loder, just for you in Denmark. A carving guitar. I wish I had it here, just dangling by the knee, and then I could show you what you're missing. But we'll have it next week or the week after, and then we'll wing it to you. Do you like carving guitars, Odie? I like the Mamas Boys. <laughs> what a professional. Let's have the Mamas Boys just for Zodi and this is Waiting for a Miracle.